Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the Daydream Multifunction Single Doll Pram and Stroller. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, you need part A, the stroller frame, two of part D, the large wheels, two of part E, the small wheels, part F, the axle, two of the part G, large wheel hubcaps, four of part H, the retainer clips, and two of the part I, the small wheel hubcaps. So first what we're going to do is unfold the stroller or open the stroller to get it into place. We're going to start by taking this handle here and we're going to use these large buttons that you'll see on each side here. You're going to push those in on both sides and then you're going to unfold the handle until it goes all the way and clicks into place. Next what we're going to do is I'm going to stand this up and you're going to see that these legs are already starting to separate. What you need to do is you just need to separate them until you hear it snap into place. Like so. Now once the frame is assembled, I'm going to flip this over here. We're going to start by putting the wheels into place. I'm going to start with these two up here first, which use the smaller of the wheels. We're going to go through the bottom going towards the top with the metal axle. Then we're going to be using a retainer clip to hold these metal, these metal axles and wheels into place. So I'm going to take this metal axle, we're going to go up through the bottom towards the top. Once you see this metal axle pop through here, you're going to take the retainer clip, you're going to use the large end going towards the wheel, small end going away, and you're going to push it onto the metal axle until it clicks into place. Once you get that in, you're going to put this cap on going over the retainer and you're going to push firmly to get that to snap into place like so. I'm going to turn this around so you can see me do the same thing on the other side. We're going to take the smaller wheel going from the bottom, pointing up towards the top, taking this plastic retainer clip, again the larger end going towards the wheel, and we're going to snap this one into place. Then we're going to take this plastic cap here, go over the retainer clip, and again pushing that into place. Next what we're going to be doing is putting on the larger of the wheels. So we're going to be using this long metal axle. If yours comes with these um, clips here on the end, you're just going to remove these. This is just for shipping purposes so that there's a safety precaution there. So you can just discard these. So what we're going to be doing is we're first going to be putting on one wheel onto the end going through this long metal axle. So we're going to put this through this pointed end here, having the more flush end pointing away through it like so. We're going to again use these plastic retaining clips. We're going to push the large end towards the wheel and we're going to push it and clip it into place so that the wheel cannot come off. We're going to thread this through these holes here on both sides, threading it through one side all the way through to the other. We're going to put this last large wheel the side going in towards the middle, the side going away from, through like so, and putting that last retainer clip on the outside here, large side going towards the inside, and clip it into place. Lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting these hubcaps on so that you don't see these retainer clips. It's essentially just going to fit right into the structure here. And we're just going to push those into place so that the nice design is facing outward and hiding those retainer clips. I'm going to flip this over so you can see this again. Again, putting this hubcap right in here. And pushing it into place. Now 
For step two, you need part B1, the carrier. So next what we're going to be doing is putting the stroller carrier onto the stroller frame. Now when looking at the carrier, you're going to see these plastic inserts on both sides. If you need to adjust them, you can push into this button and you can move them as such to where you want them to go. Just make sure that when you're inserting this into the stroller frame that you have them both at the same angle so that you can insert them both equally. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these plastic inserts from the carrier into these plastic holes here on both sides and we're going to firmly push those down into place like so. Also when it comes to the carrier boot you're going to see this strap here. You're going to want to wrap that around this carrier handle and use the hook and loop tape on the underside to secure that. So when you move the handle, the, the fabric boot goes along with it. For step three, you need part C, the canopy. Next what we're going to do is we're going to put the canopy onto the pram. Now when looking at the canopy, you're going to see these plastic inserts here on each side. These need to slide into these plastic brackets on each side going from the front to the back. So we're going to put this down, insert that into there, and then we're going to slide it back and so that it hooks into place. Like so. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side here. Putting it again into that plastic insert. and pushing it all the way back. Then what we can do is we can unfold the canopy so that your pram is all set. Next what I'm going to show you is how to turn your pram into a stroller for your doll. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lower down the canopy so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to lift up this handlebar here. We're going to detach the boot from the, pan the pram. So we're going to un unattach this with the hook and loop tape here and remove this boot entirely. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm going to tilt this facing downward here. Now when looking at this you're going to see these little tabs on the inside. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go pull them up going around this metal bar where you should find a button on the opposite side to clip it into. By doing this, you're creating more of a seat-like structure for the doll. So repeating the same thing, we're going to put this, this button going around the metal bar and hooking it into the button on this side so that you have more of a structured seat. You're also going to see one at the top here. So this one is going to go around this metal bar at the top and again, finding the button on the back side for this to clip into. This way you have more of the actual doll seat and then you can use this canopy overhead if you would like. So now again, to go from the stroller into the pram, what we're going to do is we're going to unbutton this top one that we just put into place to drop that back down. We're going to unbutton the two side ones. Again, making that more pram-like structure. I'm going to tip this back down so it's a little bit more flat. We're going to put this boot back into place where it's going to use that hook and loop tape in three different locations. We're going to tuck this in here, making sure to secure those three pieces of the hook and loop tape. Then again, we're going to take this strap going around the carrier handle and securing that hook and loop tape again. That way your pram has its shape back together. Another neat feature about the handle for the stroller is that you can have it where you're pushing the doll away from you or facing away from you or you can push this button on both sides at the same time and you can flip this handle all the way to the other side so that you can push the stroller with the doll facing towards you. This way it's a neat feature to kind of switch back and forth between how the doll is being pushed in the stroller. Next what I'm going to show you is how to fold the stroller back up so that you can use that for travel or storage purposes. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make this as flat as possible and we're going to remove the pram off of the stroller base. 
So to do so, you're going to find that this button here, and you're going to look just below it, where you're going to see this little clip piece here, which is what held this pram securely into place the first round when we put it together. What you need to do is you need to push that in, and then you need to pull the pram upward and outward from this plastic insert here. So we're going to push that in and pull this out, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side here and remove the pram entirely. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get these wheels to fold together. You're going to push on this button here while also pushing the wheels together to get them to fold. Once you have that folded down, then you're going to push on this large button on both sides where the handle is together at the same time and you're going to fold the handle flat all the way down to the wheels. The last thing you can do with the pram piece is you can push this button here on these plastic inserts and you can turn them all the way to get them as flat as you can. This way this piece lays flat as well. And then you're more compact to get it to travel and take it to go or for storage. And that concludes the assembly for the Daydream Multifunction Single Doll Pram and Stroller. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.